welcome back to I Am Only Human. I'm your average Jen. Welcome fellow average human beings. Um, today is another music episode. I really like the music episodes and because there's so much that I can do with them and I just like music. So I was in a bad frame of mind and so the way that I tried to get out of it was with music. So let's take a listen to things, the music that I picked. And I think that it helped me calm down. Um, there we go. There we go. Angry and calm. And play. Welcome to Music Talk, presented by yours truly. This episode is going to discuss how music speaks. Music has a big influence on every person. All music carries a message, whether good or bad. There are plenty of songs about social injustice, politics, recovery, aggression, and any other topic out there. I will try to keep things clean, but there are no promises. A good portion of the music I listen to does contain explicit lyrics. I will provide a disclaimer if that is the case for this particular episode. I'd like to state that I'm not an expert. I'm not trying to gain off the work of other artists, podcasters, or anyone else. I strongly think that breaking down the communication barriers we face is the only way to change our world. All clips and interviews will be in the show notes for anyone to check out. After all, I have to give credit where credit is due. I did not come up with all of this on my own. Thank you for listening. Oh, man, was I in a mood again today. By the way, if anyone listened to my last episode, I asked about the 30-minute mandatory lunch. They denied the rumors were true. It's sort of funny looking back at it now. Everyone was so flippin' mad about this thing that they thought was going to happen. Maybe it was going to happen until I spoke up. Who knows? I was going to start another epic episode, but I have lost my thunder. I suppose the storm has passed. Music really is good therapy. If anyone actually paid attention to the message and applied that message to their lives, that is. Oh, damn. Just thinking about this stuff is going to get me all riled up again. I better get on with it. Oh, and by the way, there are some explicit lyrics in some of these songs, but I will let you know ahead of time in case you wanted to skip those if you have kids in the car. Or whatever. All right, here's the first song. That song was Rise by Skillet. Click on the link in the show notes for the full video. I feel like this song can speak to any number of us, and it means something different to each person. To me, it is a great song. I know that Skillet is a very popular band, and there are many very popular bands that all sing about messages of hope, change, politics, world issues, and recovery. It sort of boggles my mind that these songs reach so many people, and yet there is no change. Since I am surrounded by recovery and mental health all the time, it seems foreign that those that need to really pay attention to these messages are not understanding what the message is. It is part of the reason I feel so strong about slowing down, breaking things down, and putting a human perspective on it. This song gets me fired up anytime I hear it because I still have hope that the world can change if enough people are willing to stand up and fight. I'm not talking about fighting the man or a complete rebellion, the war in our head is played out in the world we live in. That is why the world is in such chaos. As the lyrics say, unite and fight to make a better life. We don't need to fight each other to make a better life. We need to understand ourselves and heal ourselves before revolution can happen. I know I'm tired of all the pain in the world. I'm tired of society in general. It's all such a mess. I don't even watch the news anymore because all it does is spread more violence and hate. It's time to rise and fight. Everyone, good thing, now you're 
Once again, I love Shine Down. If you pay attention to the lyrics, it tells you about the monsters inside your head. Shine Down includes the lyrics, quote, Cause my monsters are real, and they're trained how to kill, and there's no coming back, and they just laugh at how I feel. And these monsters can fly, and they'll never say die. And there's no going back. If I get trapped, I'll never heal. Yeah, my monsters are real. End quote. I think of these monsters as a bunch of things, such as, but not limited to, <laughs> sorry, I just had to do that, depression, anger, sadness, loneliness, pride, vengeance, lust, desire, greed, dishonesty, violence, self-harm, denial, blame, or arrogance, to think of a few in a moment. Seriously, our demons will eventually kill us, but not without taking down everyone around you, too. We hurt people all the time by lashing out or ignoring, being condescending towards others, belittling others, stealing, lying, manipulating, physically and mentally harming others, and even ending the life of another individual. The horrible things humans do to one another is astonishing. I don't want to go down the rabbit hole, so it's time to move on to another song. Okay, before I play this song... This is one with explicit lyrics. So, trigger warning, explicit lyrics. Is there so much goddamn weed on your shoulders that you can't just live your motherfucking life? The story's getting old and my heart is getting colder. I just want to be gentle, but I'm always fucking high. You got rocks in your head, I can hear them rolling round. You say that you're above it, but you're always falling down. Is there a melody of madness? Is it all about pride? Is everyone I know they got a turn inside? When I started researching and doing this episode, I was in a funk, but I think I've gotten over that. I suppose the real reason I did this episode was I needed to vent. I just needed to get some stuff out and music is the best way to do that. So what can I say about Jekyll and Hyde by Five Finger Death Punch? It's a great angry song. I know that those of you that don't listen to music like this might just hear noise. I'll speak some of the lyrics so it's easier to hear the message. Looks like I'm going to need to swear for this one, so sorry about that. <laughs> oh, this just feels weird. All right, quote, Is there so much goddamn weight on your shoulders that you can't just live your motherfucking life? The story's getting old and my heart is getting colder. I just want to be Jekyll, but I'm always fighting Hyde. You got rocks in your head. I can hear them rolling round. You say that you're above it, but you're really always falling down. Is there a method to your madness? Is it all about pride? Seems everyone I know, they got a demon inside, end quote. And then in another part of the song, they ask these questions. If I wasn't so deranged, could I ever face the pain? If I ever were to change, would the song remain the same, end quote. If we weren't so hung up on ourselves, we could face our pain and learn how to deal with it instead of wallowing it. I feel like I have been wallowing in anger, sadness, and on the verge of depression once again. I know what to do to get myself out of it, but I haven't done what needs to be done. I've been putting things off, and I hope that my angry valve can release some pressure soon because I 
don't like feeling this way. I feel like I need to switch gears a little bit to begin to ease my brain. This song popped into my head. It is an amazing song with a powerful video and a message to anyone that is battling with some mental health issues or addiction. Company, I took the rear view off of this so forth, so I only see in front of me. Now the past is outside and out of mind. Swore I changed, now I'm back chasing these white lines. I'm just a long haired son of a sinner, searching for new ways I can get gone. I'm a pedal to the highway If you ever wonder why we Write these songs Cause I'm only one drink away from the devil I'm only one call away from home Yeah, I'm somewhere in the middle I guess I'm just a little This song, Son of a Sinner, is by a band named Jelly Roll. They have a very broad musical spectrum. Dave has talked about Jelly Roll in our episode, Music Talk with Dave One. My uncle is very passionate about the music and the stories of the band members. I really like talking music with Dave. Check it out. The final song I'm going to leave you with is a song called Whiskey and You by Chris Stapleton. And I added it because I just wanted to hear the song. It's a calming song. I'm feeling so much more calm now. So this episode ended up in a very different place from where I had first thought it would be, but that's okay. I'm sure it'll be great. And all of these songs I did put links to in the show notes, and there's going to be two extra songs by Zach Brown Band. One is Colder Weather and the other one's Highway 20 Ride. And if you've enjoyed any of the music I forced you to listen to today, you might like those two songs. They're more country-ish, but they also have a good message. So feel free to check it out. Give the band some exposure, not like they need any exposure because they're super famous and a lot of people like them. And I'll be signing off after this last song. There's a bottle. On the dresser by your ring And it's empty So right now I don't feel a thing I'll be hurting When I wake up on the floor But I'll be over it by noon Between whiskey and you Come tomorrow I can walk in the store It ain't a problem It'll always sell me more But your forgiveness well, That's something I can't buy anything that I do that's the difference between whiskey and you one's a devil between whiskey and you all right I gotta pause that okay Stop sharing. Okay, so... Alright, let me see what I write down. Yep, I was wondering when I was gonna... Oh, oh no, what's happening? Stop, stop, stop. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I had something else playing in the back. Okay, so, let's see what did I write down. Yeah, I was wondering when when this was gonna pop up in my episode. You know, like, I thought that I had any control over the 30 minutes break like sometimes I get so full of myself and then I feel stupid for it I think that we all do that sometimes it's like we 
think we're more important than what we really are, but I'm able to recognize it. It's a little embarrassing, but it happens, whatever. Um, let's see. Oh, I picked some really great songs. I mean, uh, just, it makes me want to create more content. And there's going to be another music episode following this one, which will be a little bit different in, it'll be a little bit different in presentation. And it'll be awesome. I promise it'll be awesome. So come check it out. And if you like this YouTube thing, whatever this is, please like it. Feel free to leave comments and share it with your friends, family, whatever, because that would be awesome for me to know that I'm reaching some people in at least some capacity. That'd be awesome. Thank you. Have a great day. See you for the next episode. Bye-bye.